Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Mazda 3. And we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see for this specific vehicle, the panel is already blacked out, but there's some Mazda 3 vehicles like the sedan version that the front grille is chrome. So when it comes to the installation, we will be using a matte white material. That way to help you guys out on how to go about installing the pieces to the grill, just in case your grill does come chrome. This is how it will look before doing the installation. And this is how it looks after applying the film. If you like the product, the link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could wash the vehicle through a car wash. If you do go with that option, that the vehicle is completely dry. Also another thing you can do would be using spray bottle, adding water and baby shampoo onto the bottle and making sure you spray your solution to a microfiber towel. You don't want to spray it on the actual panel because then you'll have more excess solution on the panel and it might take longer to dry. So make sure you just remove any contaminants that the panel may have. And then once you're done cleaning the whole panel, make sure that everything is dry. So when it comes to starting with installation, you wanna start off by installing the piece that goes inside here. So with this one, start by aligning it right on the edge here first. Once you have it aligned, carefully and slowly align the film to the curve here. And just make sure you're covering all of the panel and just work your way on installing the rest of the film. And then make sure just cover up to the edge here of the grill. So make sure everything's covering. If you need to readjust the film, you can just as long as you're covering all the chrome. So now that we have it like this, we would start tacking down the film. So with our squeegee, tack down everything. And if you need to apply heat to help it tack down, you can. But I'll show you guys how I'll go about it right now. So grab your squeegee, tack down everything that's flat. So tack down the whole film and then any excess material, we will remove them after. So right now it's just making sure we tack down everything. So if you need to apply heat to tack it down around the curves, you can but it should just tack down very simple like this. Just applying a little bit of pressure and helping it tack down to its curve. And then just make sure it sits. And if you need to add heat, apply heat on the areas that need to be tacked down. So just to ensure that everything's tacked down, apply heat around the curve because since it is more of a curved area, it tends to lift. So we just wanna help it tack down by adding heat. And then once you tack down everything and it's good to go, we trim off all the excess material. So to trim off, there is a gap between the grill and the panel. That's where you would trim off. Just be careful trimming off this material here. Take your time, you don't need to rush it. To remove the film so you can see how it's going. And it's covering everything and you just finish off with the rest. So find that small gap between the grill and the panel and just trim it off. Okay, and now just apply heat one more time just to help tack down the film that we trimmed and then we can move on with the next piece. So for the next install, it's going to be the piece that goes covering this section of the curve here. So the first thing to do is align it right on the top edge here and just follow along the design of the panel here. So it should cover everything here, follow it down here. And if you need to lift it to readjust it, you can just be careful. And the alignment for this one should just follow the top piece of the body line here. So just like this, so it should be like this. And now all we're going to do now is help it tack down to cover the bottom piece here and then also on the curved area. So to help it with the curved area here, lift it carefully and apply heat. So do it like this, let it cool off and then slowly little by little help it tack down with your finger. And then you would do the same on the lower curve here. Apply heat just to help remove any small fingers. So 
Okay, and once this piece is complete, now we can move on with the piece that goes underneath here. So we want to do full coverage, so that's why we made an extra piece that will go along the bottom half here and covers the side panel here. Okay, so for this piece, we're going to align it here first and work our way to the bottom half. You can stick the film to the panel here just to hold it in place and it doesn't touch the floor. So align it right here and it should cover this curve here and everything else here. I would prefer just having excess material on this end. That way this excess material, you just trim it off instead of tr trying to trim off the excess material on this side. So once the film is tacked down, just work your way to the bottom half and you might need to help it tack down here. Since there is a curve on this section, you're gonna need to help the film tack down and align it to the curve here. So lift it carefully and place it as you go. So it should be like this. And now we're going to help it little by little tank down, especially on this curved area. So we're going to lift the film carefully here and squeegee it with our squeegee. So that way it does a full coverage inside the panel. So lift the film and use your squeegee to tack it down. This is just so we cover all of the chrome. So lift it here carefully and just start tacking down the film inside. And some of the film can be tucked in since there is a small gap here. But if you can't tuck it in, then that's fine. We could just trim it off. The whole point is for this is just so we can have full coverage on this section here. Once we tack down, start from the middle, find that gap and just trim it off. Lift the film carefully and it should still cover everything. Just tuck in the film because it did lift a little bit since we trimmed off the excess material. And here, just make sure you're covering the curve here as well. So lift it and tack it down carefully. And then just trim off that excess material. Find the small gap and trim it off. And it should still do full coverage here. And just to help it tack down, you remove any small fingers, just apply heat. That way we help tack down the film. Okay, and now that we installed this whole piece, now we can move on with the last two pieces here. So for this lower piece, it's going to cover the lower section of the grill here. So with this one, you can match it and align it right there. Just make sure you're covering all the chrome underneath the film here when you're doing the installation. And if you need to lift it to readjust it, you can. Just take your time, helping the film tack down to the curve. And it should reach up to the edge over here covering everything just like that like I said if you need to adjust it just lift it carefully and just readjust the film so now grab your squeegee and lift the film carefully and just tuck in inside underneath whatever that can be tucked in and then whatever we can't we'll just get trimmed off since that's excess material so now all that excess material will get trimmed off so just grab your blade find the small gap and then trim off the excess material And trim off the excess material here. You only want to cover the actual chrome, not the plastic piece. And now all we're doing now is going to apply heat onto the panel here. That way we help remove any fingers. Okay, now we move on to installing the last piece, which is for this section here. Okay, so for this last section, recommend starting from this middle piece first. Reason being is because once we would start from here, everything should just fall into place. So I'll show you what I mean right now. So just place it for now and start by aligning it where we left off. So align it right there and everything else should just fall into place. So what I mean by that is lift the film, place it down, and we're going to work our way to each side. So lift the film, apply here, and it should go tucked in underneath here. And we're going to little, little, little by little help it tack down. If you need to apply heat, you can, but it's helping the film just tack down. Grab your heat gun, apply heat here to help the film tack down to this curve. Let it cool off, and then start helping it tack down with your finger. And you just continue until everything lays down. Grab your squeegee and help it tack down. This will get trimmed off, so we're just focusing on tacking down everything here. Apply heat once again. And you just continue with the rest. We're just helping it tack down. So now that we help tack down this section, we just need to make sure everything else is aligned and finish it off on this side. So lift it carefully and just align it to the edge here. Hold it in place and start squeegeeing the film as you go. 
and that's to cover all of the chrome. Make sure you remove any air bubbles. And all this excess material will get removed once we start removing everything that is to excess. So right here, this is excess. We can remove it since it's already being covered and so forth. So just apply heat. And now we could trim off all that excess material. Okay, that's pretty much it. And now the last thing to do would be to post heat the entire panel once we're done. So once you're done with the installation and you rinse and repeat the same steps that you did for this side to the other panel, then the final thing would be to post heat the whole entire film. So to post heat, all you need is the heat gun and you would just go all around the film and start adding heat all around the edges and anywhere where we overlap the film. That way the adhesive on the film starts to cure faster and the film doesn't lift over time. So just grab your heat gun and start posting everywhere. So that concludes the installation for the front grille chrome delete installation for the 2022 Mazda 3. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.